Hi Renegades, this is Heidi, um, and thanks for joining us. I'll be doing an unboxing of Paladins of the West Kingdom. Um, Terry's also going to be in the chat, so if you have any questions, she's going to take care of you there. And also I've got Desiree off to the side, so you might hear her chiming in a little bit to remind me of things or help us with this unboxing. So let's get started. All right, so we've got this beautiful box with this beautiful artwork, and this is the second because the first was Architects of the West Kingdom. So now we have Paladins. So we've got the rule book, which looks awesome. And it's definitely helpful because this is a long game and there's lots of details. So this will be very handy for us here. All right. All right. And then these are going to be the paladin cards right here. So those have all the paladins included in them. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. I should open them because this is an unboxing, I guess. <laughs> yeah, just kind of show them a little bit. Yeah, show them up. Maybe show them some interesting ones. Mm-hmm. Always some fun plastic. All right, let's see, let's find a good one. Ooh, this guy's fun. All right, so this is a Ansys. I'm gonna check him out right there, he's pretty cool. So that's one, let's see the other. Ooh, then we've got Gerard right here, another paladin. These guys all look pretty battle-worn. Ooh, some full armor here from Oliver. I'm going too fast. Let me know. <laughs> All right. Some gorgeous yeah. So some paladins. Yep. So yeah. So those are the paladin cards. Those look pretty awesome. Uh, can you show them like the back of the card? Oh yeah, so definitely. I'll we'll just flip this guy around. Yeah. Some really beautiful artwork there. Oh, stuck to my finger. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll open this one. Oh, there's a really easy pull tab, which I didn't notice before. Makes life a little easier. Perfect. All right. And then here, we have, let me make sure. Great. So, we've got some more paladin cards. I think they're mixed. So, we've also got these would be the outsider cards. So, let's show some of these outsiders as well. This archer, she looks pretty awesome. Look at this guy. Another outsider, this assassin that we've got right here. Mm, yeah. That's kind of scary. <laughs> yeah. All right. Oh, this one's really interesting. We've got to do this one. And then I'll show the back of these outsider cards as well. This is a mercenary. You definitely don't want to mess with him. <laughs> and then let's find the townsfolk as well. Great. Awesome. And then here's the back of the outsider cards. Some more beautiful artwork there. And you get to see kind of an array of those outsiders as well. These all feel pretty distinct as well from one another, the paladins and the outsiders. And then next we've got the townsfolk, which I like this one to start. He it's definitely cool. looks like a townsfolk. <laughs> and then there's a couple of him, a few repeats, which is great. We've got an alkalite next. This guy right here. Ooh. And I like this, a little throwback to the first game with the architect. And then I'll definitely show the back of that one because these have a nice array of different uh, townsfolk as well. She's pretty buff. Yeah, yeah. She's definitely, you don't want to mess with her either, even though she's just a townsfolk. They look awesome. Cool. And then next we've got um, all these little pieces, which there's a bunch of fun, distinct little guys. Should I take them all out of the baggies as well? Or? Sure, we can take a few out and put them on top sure. of them. The display just so they can cool. Yeah. And it's already organized for you in these nice baggies. You don't have to go out and buy your own. I know I've done that with games before. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, I don't know if that guy will stand, so this guy will. Got some of these little guys. Nice yeah, really vibrant, really lovely. I know this little white one is a cleric. Yeah, and just we have basically there's um, this like whitish gray, there's red, green, blue, purple, and then we've also got um, the little black monks as well. Uh, we also have. These guys, let me open this as well so I can have the guide. There's so many little pieces and they're all really beautiful and lovely. So let's bring this so I can make sure. Oh, 
sure. Yeah, so the white are gonna be the, our laborers. Um, we've got red for fighters. Green are for the scouts. Um, there's the black for the monks as well. And then blue for the merchants. And purple for the criminals. Mm -hmm. Always got to do favorite color, Heidi? Favorite color? Um, I'm gonna, I really like for this set, I'm gonna say the purple. I yeah, feel like it's really theme. lovely. Yeah, <laughs> it's really nice. Um, we also have uh, these red little outposts for markers on your game board. Cute. Yeah, so cute. It's giving me some Monopoly vibes. Um, 32 <laughs> of the workshops, which are these little green guys. And then we have the monks. We also have some attribute markers, and there's three different colors. There's the red and the blue and the black. So these are going to be little markers on your boards right there. Can you scan them? Yeah. Scan them up? I think so. Kind of upside down, maybe? There you yeah. Go. One side has a little, like, chevron divot, and then the other side is black. And those fit nicely, like, on the, the actual boards, like... Yeah, yeah, those fit really nicely on the actual boards. Everything really fits really well, and you'll see as well with these little cards, um, they've really made some really nice uh, sizing choices with it, so everything really lays out really well. Um, and then you also have 28 little jars as well, and they're all numbered. Um, and there's uh, four of each number, so that's all divided really nicely. Let's do these little guys. A lot of opening plastic, which is so <laughs> fun for everyone. The anticipation. I know, the anticipation. All right. There we go. All right, and these are some little cards, and they're so fun and cute, these little guys. These, and there's 24 of each. Uh, we have the deck cards. Very small. They fit. Mm. Yes, the debt cards. There's 24 of those. Next, there are, and these are two different types. All right, those are the debt cards. Then we have these green marked ones are going to be for uh, the king's favor cards. Yeah, you get to see that nice wax seal, and it definitely looks like an envelope, and up close as well, hopefully you can see the details, but it looks really nice, and really, like, that wax seal feels like it jumps out of it um, at you. The red are going to be for the king's order, so very official. Um, that king is trying to help you out in this game and move things forward for you. And, and uh, what do they look on the, like, on yeah, the other side? On the other side. see that oh. as well and then these oh and these are we'll hold on to those and we'll do that next all right and then next are going to be the suspicion cards and there's 24 of these there's one side mm. <laughs> and it's that purple again that we're yeah. seeing in the game and then the other side one of the options that you can get and this is actually the same card from the rule book. It looks like very similar. Um, so that's funny how that works out. All right. And then these are going to be the tavern cards. On one side you have the tavern. So that makes it pretty uh, easy, to easy to find and easy to get to. And then the other side, right there, tavern cards. So the detail on each of these cards, like I mean, it's a small amount, but it's yeah, like, it shows a lot of artwork. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, they're these ones, especially because these ones are like so cute and small. But you still, if you can see as well, you can see the little um, image of the little uh, piece that you would use for them. And then also on the other side, you can see the tavern in the background while it still gives you that um, the main thing that the card calls for in the game, which is nice. You get that little backdrop of the tavern, and it's really cute. There's lots of little details that you can see the candles are lit and all that as well, so that's really fun. Um, and then next, these are the wall cards. 
So you can see a little building of the wall on one side that distinct makes it the distinct wall card, and on the other, the details of the card and what the card's going to give what you in that? the game. There's the wall. I know, and then you get the <laughs> wall is built. There it is. <laughs> And then finally, this is for uh, the solo gameplay, and these are the 17 scheme cards. So on one side, um, you can kind of tell it looks like a little like drawing desk. There's an open booklet and um, beautiful window and a lamp. Um, so detailed, even though these are such small little cards. But then on the other side, you get um, more details there with what that card holds. So in that one, it's the garrison, and these are for solo gameplay as well. Great. Cool. And then we have the boards. I know there's two of these. And should I show these off here as well? A little place to lay out your cards and they fit together. Somewhere. We also have some punch out. We've got the provision tokens. I don't think I'll be able to stand these up, but you can kind of see this little guy. Cute. Shaky hand. A little money bag. Yeah, a little money bag for your provisions, and that's pretty sweet. And push all those out. Oh, just get here, Ducky. And then we've got some silver, because you've got to you've got to have that money to make yeah. everything you're gonna need to make in the game and move forward. Got that. And then there's also this starter, the start player that it's moves so around. Cool. Yes, a fancy scroll um, for each player to start and you move around in the rounds and you're playing with multiple people, but this game can also be played solo and it would be definitely fun like that as well. And then these final boards. Um, there's a bunch, so let's put them out. And they're two-sided as well. Um, let's see if I can push them out correctly. Like those, uh, yeah, because we're going to show Up them on overhead too. Yeah. Awesome. And they are double-sided as well, so. And you can see where all these little pieces are gonna fit and and go and. And are those for for each person, or? Um, these ones are these larger ones are uh, for each person, mm -hmm. and so then I know that when you play solo, you would have two, um, and then these are for uh, the. In the center. Yeah, yeah the, for the. For everybody. Yeah, so awesome. that's the boards. And yeah, you can see all the details on this as well. All the fun little um, pieces and uh, different little characters on them and stuff. And then you can also see where everything tracks the attributes and all that. Yeah. Everything has a place. Yeah, they make sure to, a lot of little pieces, but they really organize it well. Awesome. Let's see if we have any questions. Yeah. I don't think. I don't think anybody has too many questions. You've been doing such a good job, Heidi. Desiree is nice. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, everything looks great. It looks like a fun game to play. Yeah, it definitely looks really fun. If there's anything to show again or... Yeah, if we need any more close-ups or anything. Yeah, there's so many little pieces, so there's a lot going on. Anything else you guys want to see before we wrap up? Um... I think what else we could show them. But I know, that's really it. It's, there's a lot of little pieces, but everything's organized really well, and especially with the game board and how things are laid out, it's going to be pretty easy to make sure everything goes in the right spot. And um, what's the uh, player count? Uh, um, yeah, it is. I typically remember. Or in the back. Okay. okay. I know I remember. One to four. Yeah, okay. it's... Uh, 12 and up, about 90 to one, uh, 120 minutes. So, I wonder okay. four. Yeah, with the four bo game boards, and then you can also play on, on your own, solo. Wow, that's a long game to play on your own. I know, 90, if you have a good 90 minutes to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Plus set up. <laughs> All right, Terry, is there anything else? Anything yeah, else? Terry. Just want to make sure we get anybody's last request before we yeah. head out. And um, Heidi's been Heidi's <laughs> been working with us for a few uh, playthroughs. If you guys have seen her, 
um, and she'll be around for a couple more times. Yeah. So. And this um, is my first unboxing, so I hope it went okay. <laughs> I mean, you got everything out of the box. I know. So. <laughs> I guess that would be the failure if I wasn't able to open those plastic. I know, right? <laughs> One hour later, still opening. <laughs> <laughs> Twitch nightmare. <laughs> All right. Well, um, I don't see any more questions, mm -hmm. so uh, feel free to... Cool. Yeah, well, thank you guys so much for joining us, Renegades. It's awesome to have you here, and I'm so excited to do this unboxing with you. So thank you so much for that. I hope you have fun playing Paladins of the West Kingdom, um, and hopefully we'll see you back soon. This is Heidi again, and have a good day. Bye. <laughs>